Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. So guys, yeah, yesterday, uh, there's a video. It's either today or yesterday. It was released. Um, now, I don't know if that was a recent video, but I've not seen that video before. Errol Spence coming out and saying that, you know, I want 70-30 against Crawford and I want 80-20. Uh, that fight's not going to happen. I think we're a million, million miles away from, from that fight. I don't see that fight happening. I think the I think the two, and I don't even think it happens if uh, if Terence Crawford uh, moves to PBC. I don't think it happens. I think Errol Spence just thinks uh, he's a way bigger star than Terence Crawford, and that fight ain't gonna happen. Let's be truthfully honest. That fight's not gonna happen. That fight's not gonna come to fruition. Um, and it's sad uh, that it's probably, in my opinion, the best fight in boxing. It's probably two of the best most skilled guys in around their weight classes potentially fighting one another like when we talk about fury joshua yeah they, they, they that's a brilliant fight and a bigger fight financially when you talk to the hardcore fans spence and crawford is a huge fight and a fight that everybody wants to see you know why because spence and crawford are probably the two most skilled fighters in the world like you could put them both in the top five pound for pound right they are elite fighters and they're not gonna. They're not gonna fight. They're not fighting each other for some whatever reason. There's some excuses. Errol Spence thinks he's the big fish. Uh, he's the big dog, or whatever you want to, however you wants to be referred to, and he just doesn't want to know. And Paul Crawford just seems to struggle to get anyone in the ring. Um, and I shouldn't. This is not Paul Crawford because Crawford's a very wealthy man. But what I mean is Paul in terms of. He can't get anyone to fight him, or any of the top welterweights, and uh, it's it's sad. It's sad that is uh, that this is happening, and Errol Spence, you know, is is coming out and saying, "I want 70, 30, 80, 20. Um It's it's a kick in the gut for boxing fans because we know that that's another fight that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen because they're both parties are so far away. Terence Crawford wants fifty fifty. Uh, he said, "If the you know if it's not fifty fifty, the fight ain't going to happen." You know, unless the split's in my favour, Crawford said, or 50-50, the fight ain't going to happen. Um, he goes, I've achieved way more than Errol Spence, which is correct. He has achieved more. Errol Spence has a better resume at welterweight especially. Um, but the main thing is, is the fans are being robbed. Uh, we're not going to get this fight. I've told you many times. How many times have I made this video saying that this fight ain't happening, guys? I've, how many times? I think I've done it several times. And I'm I, every time... You hear something about this fight. It just reaffirms this fight ain't going to happen, man. Errol Spence right now is... He believes he believes he's on another level somewhere. He believes he deserves 70, 30, 80, 20, which is quite ridiculous, by the way, because that you would get for like a mandatory. If you were a mandatory challenger, you'd get that much. I think now it was 75, 25. I don't know whether it's now 70, 30. I don't know whether it, the split has changed... Uh, for a, even a mandatory, which is, which for a guy like Crawford, who's achieved so much, I think it's nonsensical. Let's not forget Pacquiao and Mayweather was 50, 40, 60-40, I think, in Mayweather's favour. You know, and that, uh, that for me was, but that the money for that was so big, where neither guy was really going to complain. The money for this fight isn't that big. We're not talking hundreds of millions of pounds. We're talking probably maybe the fight's worth probably 30 million. That's probably, you'd have to split that. You know, so yeah, it's not going to happen, guys. It's not going to happen. It's frustrating because honestly, from what I hear about, from what I hear from the fans, they're not even interested in Crawford Thurman. They're not even interested in Crawford's Porter. They're not interested. They just want to see Crawford Spence. They're not even Pacquiao fight. A lot of fans don't even want to see Crawford Pacquiao. They just want to see Crawford in there with Spence because they feel these two are by far the best guys. They feel these two are by far the best guys in 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 the division. So they don't want to see. They don't want to see any other fight. They don't want to see. Crawford against anybody else. They just want to see the Spence fight. And we're a million miles away from that fight. A million miles away. A million miles away. It's... I don't know, man. As a boxing fan, it's just frustrating. It's disappointing. It's like... 
We never get these super fights over the line when we want them. And this is a fight that I, I, I may never happen, by the way. Because like I said to you, I think Spence is a big world to wait and I think he will move up eventually. I think he will move up. Spence struggles to make welterweight. You can tell. And as he gets older, it's going to get even harder. You know, he's 30 now. For me, he's going to be he's going to be in the same situation as Brooke was, where he's just going to struggle to make the weight. And I, I personally think he need, he's going to move up eventually. So I don't think the Crawford, unless Crawford moves up with him, which I don't think he will... Uh, and if he does, I think he'll be for a one fight here and there, but it won't be to campaign at the welterweight limit. I mean, campaign at the super, uh, super welterweight limit or the middleweight. He's not going to go up that, you know, that that kind of weight. That's crazy for Crawford. He's too small. Crawford's a guy that's come from lightweight. It's just sad. It's just sad that, we, you know, fighters that are too so skilled, right? Both fighters are so, so skilled. Both of them really aren't superstars. And I, and Spence fans might say, no, Spence is doing huge numbers. That I don't think Spence is a superstar. I don't. I, to be honest, if I, we were to go in the UK and we were to take Spence's name, I don't think anybody knows who Errol Spence is. I don't think anybody knows who Errol Spence is. I'll be honest with you. I, I don't think he's a, a name like that. So, to be honest with you, I think Errol Spence probably... Um, Overinflates his worth. He's overinflating his worth without question. 70, 30, 80, 20 for a fight of that magnitude with, you know, one of the pound for pound best is, is, is stupid. You know, the the most he could ask for is 60, 40, but I've said all along, I think he's 50, 50. I don't really, the thing is, I don't really care about the split or the finances or the, that's all nonsense. I just want the fight. And to be honest, I know the fight's not going to happen anything less than 50, 50. For Crawford, in Crawford, Fravor. So Crawford is not going to accept 60-40. Crawford to me seems a man of his, a man of his word and a man of a, a man of his principle. He's not going to budge, in my opinion, right? I don't think he's going to, he's going to, he's going to budge for Errol Spence. I just don't see it because the guy's comfortable. The guy's making a lot of money. The guy's happy with where he's at. He's happy with picking up his four to five million pound checks. He doesn't care if. He's not getting paid, you know, 30 million. He's content with what he's making. So for an extra, you know, five, six million, he's not going to want to let his, you know, let his pride be hurt because he feels that he deserves 50-50 with Errol Spence. And he feels that I've, I've achieved way more than Errol Spence. And he has. From an achievement title's point of view, Spence, uh, um, Crawford has achieved more than him. Now, has his opponents been credible? Probably not. But nevertheless, you'd have to say his biggest names that he's fought are definitely Khan and Brook. And they were not in their prime. You know, the other guys he fought, yes, there were some good fighters. And there were some good... I feel there's some underrated wins on there, like Gamboa. Gamboa was a very good fighter when Crawford fought him. I thought Postal was a very good fighter. When, and it's not the fact that Crawford beat these guys. It was the way he beat them. It was the way he dismantled some of those guys. And even the fact that, you know, Khan and Brook were past their best, it was the way he beat them. You know, if if he, if like he was fighting past prime guys and going 12 rounds and struggling and getting hurt by them, I can understand. But he, he won the fights quite comfortably. You know, so I personally think that I think he's disrespectful. Um, I think I think it should be 50-50. But again, because I think Crawford's achieved more from a title's point of view. He's pound for pound rated by most credible organizations higher than Spence. Um, he's won more titles. He was an undisputed 140 pound champion, right? So for me, I think that it should be 50-50. But again, there'll be Spence fans that come in the comment section that say, oh no, you're talking rubbish. Oh no, Spence deserves this, Spence... You can't win. You can't win because at the end of the day, I'm just a boxing fan. I'm not a Spence fan. I'm not a uh, a Crawford fan. I like both guys. I probably prefer Errol Spence a bit more than Crawford. Right? In terms of fighting style and probably a little bit more. Yeah. But 
like I said to you, I'm neutral. And when I when I see nonsense, I'll call it out. And at the minute, I'm seeing nonsense. And it feels to me it's coming from the Spence side. You know, because 70-30 and 80-20 is... Now, I don't know whether that video seemed like he was having fun. I don't know whether he was drunk. I, I don't know whether he was with his missus. Uh, that was his missus with him. So I don't know whether he was just messing around. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Right? But... <laughs> It's just like, it's frustrating for fans. It's really frustrating because we don't see any light at the end of the tournament. We really want to see the fight between Spence and Crawford. And it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. When you hear Spence speaking like that, we just know it's not going to happen. And when you hear Crawford speaking the way he speaks, like, the fight ain't going to happen. I'm not interested in it anymore. You know, he said what he needed to say. I'm not interested in him. You just know the fight's not going to happen, man. And it's not good for boxing. Right, the reason why a lot of these YouTube fights and a lot of these, you know, gimmicks that hardcore boxing fans don't like are getting so much attention because those guys had such big followings, right? And the fights that the boxing fans want to see are not being made. Eddie Hearn mentioned this that, you know, these fights, these gimmicks and these YouTube fights, these are all right. But the reason why these fights will probably get so much attention because the fights that the boxing fans really want to see really badly are not being made. Look at Fury Joshua. It seems like that's stolen. Errol Spence Crawford never got started. So the boxing fans are going to get frustrated because the fights we really want to see, the big, big super fights, right, are not being made. And... Spence Crawford is probably, in my opinion, from a skill point of view, I don't think there's any division has got these two pound for pound, like elite fighters that are so skilled that potentially could fight each other in their prime. Because Joshua Fury is not that. There's many organizations that don't even have Joshua Fury in the top 10 pound for pound. Some have Fury in there. But that's towards the low end of the pound for pound list. These two are in, in most organizations in the top five. From a skill point of view, this fight to the hardcore fans is probably the best fight that could be made in boxing. And unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be made. And it might not never be made. Yet it's the fight to make in the division. And this fight to make in boxing, period. But unfortunately... You know, egos, guys thinking they're worth more than they are. Um, you know, uh, you know, Spence made a comment about, you know, my my kids don't eat belts. You know, he's right. You know, you should know your worth and you should ask for what you think you're worth. But at the end of the day, Spence has made a lot of money. And when you're talking about 70, 30 and 80, 20, it's kind of like you're pricing yourself out of fight, really. Because... No credible champion is going to take that kind of money. No guy is just going to say, I'll take 70, 30, 80, 20. Which fighter that's in Crawford's position, that's that elite going to just roll over? Like, no, nah, no fighter is going to do that. That's like disrespectful. That's like for every two pound, I get one pound. That's dis that's disrespect. That's very disrespectful. Unless you're such a big star compared to me, and you've made so much more money compared to me, where I'm like nowhere near on your level. Like when it was a Wilder and Joshua situation, Wilder was making one or two million dollars, and Joshua was making like twenty million. Even then, even then, they couldn't get the deal over the line because Wilder didn't have it. So what makes like Crawford and Spence the difference between these two guys is nowhere near as big as that. And yet that couldn't get done. Yet they were offering Wilder 60-40. So, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, I personally think the fight's not going to happen. So I've kind of... I stopped doing videos about Spence Crawford fight because I don't think the fight's going to happen. But obviously Spence came out and said 70, 30, 20. I had people, you know, messaging me, what do you make of it? And I just thought, well, let me do a video. Um, but yeah, I don't think the fight's going to happen. It's not going to happen. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.